My name is Max Garcia, and I'm an athlete. I'm 20 years old. I grew up in Spring Valley, a small town in upstate New York. It's a very low income neighborhood, and if you don't stay focused, you can get lost in the streets. I found my love for sports when I was in middle school and started playing football. Many of the lessons that I've learned through sports, I carry with me every single day. I've played a lot of sports in my life, and there's one thing that connects them all, and it allows you to go deep into your mind and search your soul, and that's working out. In the weight room, whether you hit the road, or whether you're at home doing push-ups and sit-ups, it allows you to become mentally tough and to callous your mind every single day and prepare to win. I'm here to change the world through fitness. I mean, for a long time, I've always had like a feeling or just something that like, I just want to help people and just change the world somehow. But I really didn't know what I was going to do. You know, I was always into fitness, always into football sports, but it's like, I really didn't know how I could really help people. So once me and my brother Enoch came together and we started Beast Coast, I was like, all right, I know this is going to be it. You know what I mean? Like I was a heavy kid. You know what I mean? I always didn't like to work out as much and I really didn't know <laughs> how it could really affect me how much um working out like what it does for you as far as like mental and, and health fitness but now like I really understand that you know what I mean and if I would have just had somebody there to really take me and just uh every day that I wake up just let me know what motivation is and just give me the just the the path to say okay here's how you do it you know, I'm not going to do it for you, but I can show you how to do it, you know, and just really every single day, just live by motivation and inspiration. And that's what I'm trying to bring to people. I'm trying to bring that to the world. That's what we're trying to bring to people. That's why I'm here. It's just, if, if I could help one kid who says, you know what, I'm just tired of getting picked on. I'm tired of being that fat kid or whatever. And I'm just going to start working out now. That's if one kid is affected by that. That's what I live and die by. You know what I'm saying? That's that's why I'm here. Max was in at the end of his middle school years. It was time for graduation. And all the kids got the sheets to take home. You know, graduation's here. Fill it out. You know, what do you want to do later in life? So one question was, what do you want to be when you grow up? And he wrote football player. CEO. Uh, you know, that's, that's, that sounds like better. <laughs> so he wasn't thrilled about it, but he was like, okay. So he put CEO down, and all the kids had their pictures all the way around the auditorium. And Max Garcia said CEO. And after the principal read each one individually, we have CEOs, future CEOs, we have future bankers, future whatever, you know. So, I, you know, that was cute. Went on to middle school, and he really did like football. He got into it, and he really had a passion for it. I was like, "Wow, 
he really does like football. I was like, okay, because I didn't realize it at the time that he really did want to play football. So it was all in. We were all in. If we would take him where we needed to go, supported him, equipment, and what, we were buying what gloves and you name it. We were. But I, I think also that he. He wanted to play football, but he couldn't play football because of his weight. So he he had a hard time at first with the weight, and then all of a sudden, when he got into school and he was able to play, he just played and he was good. And I think he started. And then you know, I became a football mom. Parents. <laughs> yeah, I played basketball. I, didn't. I played football and a little football in high school, but I was a basketball player. But um, everything he knew, it, somebody either taught him or he taught himself. 